A symbol to light the spirit of tech to the four points of the compass. That is what the class of 1922 was able to contribute to their alma mater when they added 16 simple letters to the top of Tech Tower at Georgia Institute of Technology. Along the way, the letters have changed from wood to light bulbs to neon lights, but one tradition stayed consistent. Students executing plans to steal the tea. That is why these five attempted to do it. Completed in 1888, the administration building at Georgia Institute of Technology was the first building on campus. It sits on part of the original four-acre plot of land given to the school adjacent to North Avenue. Referred to as Tech Tower, the structure originally housed all of the classrooms, the chapel, president's office, and the library. The most recognizable part of Tech Tower is by far the five-foot-tall letters that spell Tech sitting on top of the building. Since their addition in 1922, students have formulated plans to steal the tees from the tower. Over the years, hundreds of attempts have been made on the tees, some coming as recently as 2001. Many have failed, but an elite few have been successful. The one common denominator between all successful attempts has been superior planning. This group was no different. They scouted their target tirelessly and planned fiercely taking note of everything that could possibly present an obstacle to them. They found out how and where to enter, and even monitored traffic in the area by remote cameras, but always had their eyes towards their final objective. Security on the tower has increased over the years, earning the T's the reputation as some of the most secure objects in Atlanta. <laughs> In addition to normal lock and key security, all activity after hours to the entrances and motion on the upper levels is monitored by the Georgia Tech Police Force. With this in mind, the team must use their education in different disciplines to get around the numerous security systems in the building. The tower itself is protected through various techniques, including pressure sensitive steps, laser beam, and microphones to pick up the smallest sound inside the cabinet's stairwells and hallways. The team was fully aware of all of these measures, and their planning paid off. Everyone has their own assignments in the attempt, and no person is more important than the next. They knew that it could not be done alone, and only with teamwork would they have a chance to succeed. On the exterior of the tower, the tees are protected by spot welds, fiber optic cable, and even the same sensitive microphones used indoors to pick up any loud, unnatural sounds. With all of the high-tech security that must be bypassed, it is important to always have an escape route, just in case something goes wrong. In this attempt, the team had such a plan, but it just was not quick enough. <laughs> 